I know how many people are in it. It'll tell us at the bottom. What's going on, Sumolings? It is Lindsay from AppSumo. Thank you for joining us for another product walkthrough webinar. Uh, we're gonna get going in just a minute. Today we have Joe, who is the co-founder of MailTag. We're gonna wait for everybody to trickle in, but first, uh, MailTag is an email tracking and automation tool for Gmail and G Suite that helps you make more sales in less time. It is an awesome, super helpful tool. We're excited to dive into it today. MailTag is available right now on AppSumo starting at just $59. Before I turn this over to Joe to give y'all a walkthrough, I just want to do two quick reminders. Uh, first, if you have any questions about this tool, go ahead and leave those in the Q&A down below. We will circle back to them at the end of the walkthrough uh, and be sure to answer all of your questions. And next, if you need to step out, um, you can. Uh, this will be recorded and available for you to rewatch whenever you would like. All right. Uh, let's get started. Joe, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm going to turn this over to you to give us the walkthrough, uh, and then you just let me know when you have some questions. I'm going to turn off my mic and my video. Sounds good. All Everybody, right. Thanks have for fun. joining me, whether it's uh, live here or on uh, YouTube thereafter. I'm going to go through this pretty quick. Uh, it's not terribly complicated. I think it's pretty easy, and you'll get it very quickly, so I'm not going to for you guys where, uh, where I think it's unnecessary, but by all means, hit me up in the Q&A afterwards or feel free to send me an email at joe at mailtag.io afterwards if there's some pressing question we didn't cover here. Uh, but here's my screen, I'm gonna start sharing and uh, you could take a look at how Mailtag works and how it makes your life a lot easier. All right, here we go. So after you install Mailtag, you're gonna see this little icon over here, all your little quick links to get you to all the places you need to go. But before I get there, I want to show you what it actually looks like when it's integrated into Gmail because it's very different from other tracking programs out there. I think the UI here is pretty slick and not intrusive. It doesn't get in the way and it's all one click. So here's your typical composed new email in Gmail. You see on the bottom here, these three links. This is all we add to your Gmail. This one here turns the tracking on and off. So let's say you don't want to track an email sending to someone for whatever reason, you can just click that and now the email is not tracked. Click it again, the email is now tracking. Right next to that is a schedule. It does exactly what you'd imagine. You can set a schedule for any time you want. You hit set time and it will send it. Not too complicated. And then the third one are pings. These are the sales automated follow-ups. So it's almost like a uncomplicated drip campaign where you wanna keep sending an email to someone and there are different emails in the sequence that you can set and I'll show you where to set those until they reply. So imagine, um, you know, you sent out a proposal and you want to get a response back. So each, each sequence in the email will say, hey, did you read the proposal? Can you get back to me? And the next one, three days later, five days later, you can set all that yourself, the, the time duration. We'll, uh, we'll keep going until they reply back. And I'll show you how all that works in a second. That's it from the Gmail side. Also on the sent side, you can see right here, you just roll over the icon and it says who read it, when they read it, how many times they read it, which I think is really really cool. So let me jump over to the dashboard because I think that is, you click this here, opens right here. I think this is something that a lot of other companies don't have, just a really clean and easy way to see all your stats. Recently opened, unread, all the scheduled emails you have, all the scheduled pings you have, and some basic analytics here um, that shows you what's going on. So then you have your inbox here. It shows everything that was currently read and you can click details on any one of them shows you where the person was when they opened it, if they CC'd, if you know, they clicked a link, all that jazzy stuff, really easy. Anything unread goes over here. So I can see, hey, five days ago, um, I sent an email, it was unread five months ago, this guy's never read it, probably should reach out to him. And then any scheduled emails, we didn't do any of those, I'll get back to that and pings. Here's where you set up the sequences. Show you what that looks like right here. So this is the first email in the ping sequence. So you can fill this out with anything you want. You can copy some of the better templates out there from you know some of the gurus that teach you how to cold uh, email or warm email. And then you can say you know after the original email, send this ping one day, five days, really basic. And you can hit preview to see what it looks like. You can even send a test email to yourself to make sure it renders okay. And you know, here's three days after, eight days after, 18 days is, is really is whatever you want. 
uh, and it's it's all customizable. And there's some settings here. We can get a little more complicated if you want. You know, the time zone. Maybe you don't want to send pings on the weekends because it's just you know for people who are at the office. Maybe you want to hit them during specific times, one in the morning or at 9 a.m. You can do that. Or maybe uh, you don't want to send week um, uh, pings on holidays, and that's just simple as a toggle right there. In your settings area, let's jump to this. You can see all the different accounts you have. You can see your profile, your time zone, your language preference. In preferences, um, really basic stuff here. Do you want to receive notifications? Uh, yes or no. Do you want to receive email notifications for each open? Yes or no. Um, you can just toggle those on and off as you like. Do you want to know when someone clicks on a link in one of your emails? Of course you do. So you keep that on. Um, do you want a, a confirmation every time there's a scheduled email that goes out? Yes, you do. Here, this is something that's pretty uh, basic, but could add actually a lot of uh, extra features to, to what you're doing. So if you add this here, you can actually CC your CRM. So it could be Pipedrive or Salesforce. You just put there that email into your account and it will automatically send all those uh, emails over to your CRM, which I find really useful. This last one here was something we added after uh, talking to the AppSumo uh, links and it's an amazing feature really easy to set up and easy to use once it's going. It allows you to replace all the tracking URLs that we use with our domain with your own domain. And why would someone want to do that? Well, it's really for email deliverability. So if you find that our uh, domain is not getting through all the places that you would like, you can put your own domain in here uh, and we'll send you the instructions on how to do that. Of course, we're going to add it to the panel too. We just haven't got there. We just put this feature in for you guys a couple of days ago. Um, but it gets through all the issues that you may have with our domain and you can use your own domain at will. And uh, we're gonna keep improving on that feature by rolling that out to more and more parts of the site. So you'll see more uh, progress from that in the next 30 to 45 days. And then billing, I don't think you guys have to worry about that because you have a lifetime deal. <laughs> Unlike every other mail tag member who's paying monthly, you guys only have to pay one time. So let's just go back to Gmail and we'll do a quick um, test of the tracking. So it's my other co-founder, Ben, test email, open me up. I'll send that over to him right now. Also, I'll show you the pings. Let's do the follow-up sequence number one. That's the one we were just looking at before. I'm going to attach it. I'm going to send that to Ben as well. Oops. that's off. And then we'll do one more to Ben. We're going to spam him like crazy today. Scheduled email test. And let's schedule this for, I don't know, that much into the future. Oops, there we go. There. So the only caveat I'll say about using MailTag that some people don't grasp right away is that when you do a scheduled email or a ping email, they don't show up in your sent folder. They do stay in your drafts folder, even though they are sent or uh, waiting and scheduled. So if I go to schedule, you can see the email I just scheduled right now. If you go to pings, you see the email I just set up for pings. Oh, I think my internet connection's uh, stolen out over here. Ah, there we go. So we'll wait for Ben to hook up one of these. Once he opens it, we should get a notification. If Ben is online, hopefully he does that soon. If not, we'll have to check back later. Ah, here we go. Reopen mail 41 seconds ago. Let's see. Test email opened me up one minute ago. And this, the scheduled email won't go out for another, I think I said it for another 10 minutes. So we have some time on that. And the pings, this will just keep emailing him in the sequence that we set here. So let's see, this was, I think we used sequence number one. And so the first day, so one day after the email I just showed you guys, he's gonna get the uh, first one right here. And then three days later, he'll get this one and so on and so forth. And if you have any questions, there's a support tab, some basic videos here for you to dig in a little bit deeper. Of course, you can always hit us in the contact support. 
we tend to reply within, I want to say one to six hours unless we're sleeping, but we're super active on the customer service side. We don't ignore emails. Um, yeah, I think that covers the majority of it. Yeah, I think that's everything. I'd love to do some Q and A with you guys if there are any questions or anything I missed. I know there were a bunch of questions in the AppSumo side. We've been knocking them out uh, as they come in, but maybe I missed something. I'd love to uh, answer it live now. If uh... Yeah, if anybody wants to leave some of their questions in the Q&A, go for it. Um, I do want to just go over some changes that have been made to the deal since it launched. Um, so can you tell us about a little bit about aliases and moving accounts, uh, just moving accounts over? Yeah, so aliases is another feature that we added uh, based on feedback from you guys. Uh, we just added that last week. So that allows you to really use any alias you want as long as it's hooked up to Gmail properly. You can then toggle um, your from field. I don't have any aliases on, on mine set up right now, so I can't show that live. But from the from on the, on the compose window, I'll show you where it would look like. Oh, actually, I do have some here. Yeah, business. Right. So right here on my screen, I don't know if you can still see this, uh, you can toggle between Joe at MailTag and business at MailTag, which is an alias, not a dedicated account. So I could easily send from there too, and the tracking still remains. Um, so that's something that we just added. The other question that we had was around, hey, what if I quit my job or lose my job and I want to you know, move my lifetime deal over to my other new Gmail account? Can I do that? Uh, originally, we didn't have that functionality, but again, based on all the feedback we got from you guys, we decided to add it. So while we don't have it automatically where you can type it into your panel, just email us at help uh, at maltag.io or joe at maltag.io and we will make that change for you within 24 hours. Awesome. Um, we have a question uh, in the webinar chat. Uh, what about an unsubscribe or opt out button? So the majority of users using MailTag, this is not a mass mail merge email system. You're not mailing 500 people, 100 people. You're mailing one to one. Um, so for us, we didn't think uh, an unsub feature was at the top of our priority list. Now, if we start seeing people mailing 50, 100 people at a time through the ping product, I can see where an unsub would become uh, more relevant. But for now, the usage just hasn't warranted that feature. But it's something that you know was brought up during a, an AppSumo conversation, and I know there was some passion around it by one of the users. Um, mm -hmm. So we're going we're gonna to keep looking at the usage and see if that makes sense. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for asking that. Um, we have one person um, was having some trouble with the test email. Um, can you give us any sort of like troubleshooting if you're seeing that? Uh, sure. Yeah, if it's just not working the way you expect it to? Yeah, so there, there's a few things I'll say. First, you want to make sure if you guys still see my screen, you want to make sure that you see the mail tag icon in the header over here and that it's operating properly. When you do compose email, you're seeing the icons at the bottom of the screen. If you do see those and it's still not working, the number one reason why I found people are, have trouble at this point is because of conflicts. And what I mean by conflicts are other Gmail extensions that you've installed that they collide with MailTag. And some of the big offenders are MailTrack, HubSpot, and there was two others that we were troubleshooting through, but they're overriding our technology. Um, so by deactivating those, everything starts working again. But of course, you know, people want to use all of it, right? So we are looking at figuring out ways to make ourselves uh, parallel, compatible to a lot of these other extensions that are using the same technology as us. The trouble is if they're putting, you know, a tracker, they're taking our tracker and overriding it with their tracker, then it's like a game of cat and mouse, right? Then we have mm -hmm. to put our tracker back and then they override. It's, it's, a, it's a mess. So that's why we've had some trouble with uh, a couple of those extensions. But HubSpot and MailTrack are probably the biggest offenders. Um, but yeah, reach out to us and we'll help you troubleshoot through that. Awesome, thank you. Um, can you tell us a little bit about custom domains? Yeah, yeah, so I mentioned uh, it briefly during the uh, the review. Custom domains yeah. is a great way to replace our um, tracking URL that has mail tag in the domain with your own mm -hmm. domain. And what that does is it gives you your own deliverability. So if you're concerned that our domain won't have as much reach because a lot of different people use it, uh, versus your domain. It's as simple as changing a C name and we have all the instructions that we can send you. Uh, just email us at help at mailtag.io. We'll send you the uh, the doc. Probably takes, I don't know, three, four minutes for you to set up. And then it replaces the URL. So then you don't have to worry about the, the deliverability issue anymore. Awesome. Awesome. All right. If anybody else has any more questions, you can go ahead and leave them in the Q&A box. You can also uh, hit us up in the chat. We do have one question. Is this user friendly? I think yes. 
you can speak to that? I, look, I, I think the UI is super basic and slick, but also powerful. Uh, I've used a lot of different trackers and it requires a lot of different clicks and steps. And this is very, uh, very easy to use. Um, but look, everyone has their own opinion and you may have your favorites. Um, obviously this is my favorite, but <laughs> that's, that's my opinion. That's, I, the user says great. So I think, uh, I, I agree with you. I've checked out the software. It, it's great. It's user friendly. It's easy. Um, uh, I'm going to, Joe, I'm going to get you uh, somebody's email address after this to shoot them an email about uh, what's potentially happening with uh, messages not going through. Um, yeah, I just wrote back to Erin. I saw that one come through. I said, email me and I'll, uh, I'll personally help her troubleshoot it. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's it for questions and I really appreciate your time. Um, of yeah, like I was just saying, it is a very user-friendly um, uh, soft software. It's super, super easy. Uh, so if you've not already redeemed your code for MailTag, I highly recommend that you head over to appsumo.com slash MailTag, or you can see it in Browse. It's available right now starting at just $59. Uh, there have been, like you mentioned earlier, a couple changes to that deal. So some things that if you are maybe a little reluctant or you're holding off, we, there have been some fixes. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's backed by AppSumo's 60 day guarantee. Feel free to set it up, start sending some test emails, see how much you like it. I personally would love to know when people open my emails. I am obsessed with things like that. Um, yeah. but let us know, uh, let us know in the comments how it's going. Um, and if you have any more questions, of course, you can leave them on the AppSumo deal page. Uh, Joe obviously would love to answer your questions and thank you, Joe, for joining us. This has thank been you. great. Awesome. Thank you guys. Awesome, awesome. Have a good one. You too. Bye.